my friends, I'm Colonel Failure and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, uh, where we're going to start off a brand new series on the uh, the gorges of uh, Shikoku map uh, by Miyoten. Uh, it is a glorious looking map and it is flipping enormous. Um, it opens up a heck of a lot of opportunities for everything, frankly. So uh, let's not hang around, let's, let's go and get on with it. Now, as it is such a large map, the chances are that we're going to uh, we're going to bump into some performance problems over time. But until that time, we're just going to have uh, we're going to have a merry a merry occasion and uh, and enjoy ourselves. Here's the uh, here's the full list of towns. Uh, there are quite a few, not an excessive number, uh, but the bigger concerns are the larger towns right now because they're the ones that are going to grow more readily. And it is that population count that will drive down performance over time. But we'll we'll see how we get on, frankly. Um, the number of opportunities we've got going on here are huge for, for building something really quite tremendous. Uh, this area here, uh, around Uwajima and uh, Ura and Kashima and Kokobu, these, the, just to build that out as a large kind of industrial port area would be amazing. And I'll probably end up doing that. Uh, I do have a plan... Uh, for how this series is going to uh, to, to pan out, but uh, we're not going to talk about that just yet. No, no, no. We've got other things to attend to first, and that is making a bit of cash um, because we've got costs turned on, and we're running from 1990, and uh, that's uh, th that that then takes us forward. You see, because uh, in previous series we've done the steam era, we've kind of done diesels, uh, so moving forward to electrics, I felt that. Uh, that Japan would be a good way to go. And, uh, I mean, I've got some vehicles from other countries in there as well. I've got uh, buses and trucks and all sorts of stuff from around the world uh, just to kind of build out a collection uh, and because they won't look quite so uh, out of place. Anyway, we're going to focus on food to start with. Out here in uh, Sayo, uh, you've got food demand here and you've got more food demand in Akanma. Uh, I, I, I apologise in advance for all the mispronunciation I do. I'll give it my best shot, but I'll probably get it wrong. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we've got uh, we've got two sets of farms. We've got a processing plant here, uh, and then uh, just, you know, set them up. Off we go. That'll be fairly straightforward by truck. Just got to get enough money coming in, in the first instance, to be able to, to fuel uh, to train uh, development. Uh, so we'll set that up today, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and do Yoshida as well. Although, has to be said, there's a, there's going to be a little bit less demand going on there. Uh, obviously, this is a this is a hand built map, so there's a lot of detailing that's already gone into it. As we zoom into this this first area, we're going to work on. You'll see that fields have already been placed. This river is all hand built. Uh, it's glorious stuff, I and mean, it really is. Um, but it it means that you know. Chances are there's going to be some expense getting in my face early on. Right, okay, let's let's go. It's been a while since I've played this, you know, so uh, I wonder if I can remember how to play. Let's let's go for Yeah, you probably do. Uh, there is a mod collection available, and uh, I will put a link to it in the description below uh, for you to be able to, you know, go pick it up and what have you. Uh, right, I'll also add more mods over time, and I'll do my best to keep the mod collection up to speed, but you know me. That probably won't happen. Uh, right, a standard, a standard size uh, truck stop here will be about right if I can find a place for it. I don't really want to ruin the river as my first move. How much are you going to cost? You're not going to, you're not going to charge me any extra for building over a field. Then building over a field is what we shall do. Uh, right, okay, just yeah, just slap it in. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Good. Okay, right. Oh, I haven't heard that noise in a while. Actually, I should turn off. There you go. See, practice makes perfect. Uh, kill off the uh, the costs alert. All right, truck stop one. And then, do you think we need do we think we need two sets of delivery? No, no, no. One delivery will be enough. Although, if we go from here, we can do uh, we could do grain out, food back, and do it all off one route. Nice. Like it. Uh, this way, we could do grain in, mm, go a long way out to a canma, and then come back again. That's quite a long, empty leg. Yeah, but you get a good length, full leg that should uh, that should pay off. All right, and of course we are running with uh, we're running trucks rather than uh, rather than wagons at this stage. 
What are you colliding with? What's what's causing you discontent? E all of this area. Oh, okay. All right. Let's try it on the other side. No, Gov. No, not permitted. Not allowed. No, that's they. That's uh, that's for Bowton. You're going to have to go over here. All right. Okay. Well, look, I don't mind. <laughs> good, good time for a bit of mouse slip there. Uh, right, and then one more over here. Yeah, we're going to do this all in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. Hook it up onto there, that pathway there. That's that's scenery. Okay. All right, and that's your lot. Right. Okay. Do a bit of truck unloading action. And um, then we'll get rolling. Now, this isn't going to make a, an amazing amount of money, but it should pay for itself fairly quickly, one would hope. Um, and uh, and that will then uh, allow me to to go a little bit further. Obviously, we're going to be uh, we're going to be rocking alone at this early stage, uh, but uh, we'll we'll get it paid off. It's all good. Uh, and I think probably what I'll also do. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm going to do uh, my usual approach, which is intercity uh, bus routes. And the like, uh, because uh, I don't want these towns to grow too quickly. I want to focus on the towns that I actively want to grow uh, in order to uh, in order to make money. But we'll we'll figure that out over time, shall we? Uh, anyway, right. Okay, so new line, please. Okay, right. Let's go for uh, out here. I'm gonna have to come up with a naming convention that makes sense to me. Uh, and no, wait. Don't, what are you doing? That's not even that's not even right. No, it's not, is it? No. Get rid of that. Yeah. Okay, Sayo West out to Sayo East, back to Sayo Town Center. All right? Easy peasy. Uh and uh, we're going to call this uh there you go. Ooh, ah, now I need to decide what well hold on. The game is telling you which east and west is. If that's east and that's west, then uh, we'll call this <sighs> Yeah, yeah, sayo, sayo, uh, no, uh, no, I've got nothing. I've got nothing at all. All right, okay. Well, you can just, let's just go with S-A-I. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, no, you don't don't need extra, extra characters just yet. I'm going to try and set a precedent for my naming convention right now. Uh, S-E-I, yeah, food, yeah, production, delivery. All right, if it's the end of the line... Uh, that's always that's that's always a delivery. Alpha, alpha. There we go. Good. All right. Yeah. Smashing. Um, and uh, and then let's uh, let's bang some on trucks on that. And now I'll then I'll work on the other one. Uh, one times road depot. We'll, we'll kick that out over here. Uh, if you fancy sitting out this way or somewhere. No. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Actually, about here will probably be fine. I mean, I don't know how often we're going to make use of this depot, but we'll, you know, we'll we'll get it rolling now, and uh, and we'll we'll see how we crack on with that. Okay, now I don't even know what trucks I've got installed. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, uh, cargo, please. Right now, I picked up the uh, the individual multi compartment truck pack. There's a mouthful uh, to see if there was something that might do the job. You've got multi compartment forty tonner. Yeah. Okay. This tanker will take grain, uh, okay, and stone. Weird tanker. Uh, that take the the one with stake sides takes everything. All right. Oh no. I mean, it's good because you've got the you've got a variety going on there. Uh, what about this tipper? I'd quite like the I quite like the idea of, of carrying food in a in a tipper truck, but no, not so much. Uh, we've got a multi compartment Peterbilt. No. Uh, what about this uh, this J6P Universal? I think that'll do the job nicely. Uh, it does everything we need. How much does it carry? Uh, how much does it carry? How much does it carry? Any ideas? Any clue? Um, D, uh, no, I, I haven't, as it turns out. Got a clue. I mean, it could just be that I haven't looked at it for a while, but and, uh, I'll be honest. The capacity, 1950. That seems wrong. Why you wouldn't have a truck that carried one thousand nine? That's probably why I was thrown. That's a date. That is not a capacity. That, let me find a standard truck and just make sure that I haven't lost me. But yeah, when you say multi-compartment truck, that's a dirty great cheat. That is flipping heck. Right? No, you you don't get to play. I'm not going to. No, 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 no. I've got I've got more you know self-respect than that. 
Uh, well, I guess we'll go with the 40 ton tarpaulin. That'll probably do the trick for now. You could go with the gas. Why are we even debating this? Oh, the build date from 1989. Actually, this will do nicely. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not very quick, but it will do, uh, it'll do just fine. Uh, right, let's bang. How many do you think? Six? Yeah, maybe. We'll go six. It's a Russian truck, but it's going to do a fine, fine job for us. Uh, let's go on. SEI, food delivery, alpha. Right, and then uh, let's uh, let's set the world in motion. Let's make sure I've got the date speed going reasonably well. Oh yeah, quarter speed will probably be about right. Uh, I want the date to advance, um, but at the same time, uh, you, you know, I don't want to stay static this time. That's the same thing. Hold on. I want the date to advance. Yes. I just don't want it going too fast. There you go. Now you're talking. Good. Okay. We're off and we're rolling. Okay. I'll probably need a few more than that. Uh, given that it's two to one uh, in terms of uh, grain to bread ratio, it would be nice to bring in some extra grain. Well, you can if you want to. No, I think I'll be all right. All right. We'll stop griping about it then. Um, right. Okay. I'll set up the other one. Then we'll pop back and see how we're getting on. All right, we are rolling. I've got the speed cranked up because, well, you know, we need to we need to get a, get this on the on the show on the road here. Uh, we're a quarter of a million in the hole. That's okay, but we should be making our first grain delivery uh, momentarily. One would hope. Anytime soon. I don't, you've turned off floaty text, you nana. Oh yeah, okay, I have done, haven't I? No, you're not carrying. How about you? You carry it? No, you're not carrying either. Okay, well, you know, patience is a, a virtue, I've heard. Uh, whether or not I believe it is another another thing entirely. Uh, we have got some production going on at Sao West, so that's all good. You've got a full load. Okay, here's where we'll find out whether or not this is going to be an unmitigated disaster or whether we've uh, we've got a bit of uh, a bit of cash printing going on early on, early on. I'm pretty sure this line will pay nicely, and based on the amount of food being produced already by that farm. I could probably uh, triple up the number of vehicles that were running on there, and uh, and it will pay nicely. Uh, you might actually be ca you're carrying. Okay, what have we got? 125 grand. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Well, it's going to be a profitable line. I mean, it's, I'm not new here. It's obviously going to be profitable. Uh, but we've we've got the uh, the inevitability of hanging having to hang around for a bit while we build this stuff up. Yeah, unlike starting in 1850, you've got quite a bit of expense to contend with uh, just in terms of buying new vehicles and the like. You could have bought one of those trucks that store 1950 food. Yes, but that would be cheating. Yeah, but you see, here's the thing, right? I, 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 actually, I don't know. No, here is the thing. The thing is, instead of having let's say 30 40 trucks potentially slowing down the game a little bit as they as they do their stuff uh you have only one truck so you're delivering the same amount of freight yes all right okay all right well let's let's follow this hypothesis a little further uh and have a look at the running costs on this uh uh rather ill-configured vehicle uh right okay so it's 350 grand a year to run one uh, the little gas that I'm doing is 73. Yeah, but the gas takes 16, right? This fella takes 2,000. Uh, that's hardly, you know, it's hardly equal. They are 3 million quid a go. Granted, they are 3 million quid a go. But even then, 350,000 a year, where you could empty out an entire depot in one go, I'm not feeling it. I might try one later and just see how egregiously it uh, uh, it, it gives you money. Uh, now, the, I, I did buy four trucks for the other route. They're, they're up here somewhere. Uh, what sort of speed are you doing? 40. Okay, I should get some money and upgrade these roads because these are capable of, if memory serves, 90. Uh, and therefore, I'm costing myself money by slowing them down on these roads. But I'm 230k in the hole. And while that will improve, it's going to be three to four game years before I'm in a position to really push forwards. Now, I'm not going to extend my loan just yet, but I will do. 
Uh, it's uh, it's mostly a case of timing on that front. Are you packing a you packing a full sausage there, son? Uh, hold on. Let's see, moves. I never play at high speed. There you go. I I always do my high speed stuff off camera because it 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 ruins the immersion of it all. Or something. There you go. Look, let's ride on. There you go. There you go. All right, all right Terry. How's it going? His name's probably Yashimoto or something, but uh, we'll call him Terry uh, for the sake of argument. Um, no, I'm sure Terry's getting on just fine. Also, given that we're in Japan, we're on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, I know, but we, we have to make concessions somewhere, don't we? Well, we are making a concession to, to being on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, all right, fine. All right, do you want to take that corner maybe a little tighter next time? I mean, that would probably be beneficial in terms of, uh, you know, safety and whatnot. That's all good. The ubiquitous VW camper van, it gets everywhere. Yeah, and it is, it is ubiquitous. Uh, I'm going to jump off to see how much we make here. It's the it's the standard first episode fair, friends, where uh, where we build one thing and then watch it not really deliver as quickly as we'd like. Um, it's it's all good, right? You're 183 grand up. That's a good place to start. Uh, and then we'll swing it around here. Now, do I invest in uh, invest in roads? early on in order to, to maximize the, the power earning that we're getting from these chaps. Or do I hold fire? 242k. Very nice. Okay, yeah. Alright, uh, so this is good. Uh, let's have a quick look at the line data. You're up 812, 938. This is good. This is going to be a solid earner. Uh, I don't think we've... What have we got here? We've got 32 crops on board at the moment. Uh, so, uh, so the second line is only just starting to uh, to kind of pick up the pace now. Here it comes. Let's have a look and see what you're worth. I mean, uh, I don't. I think on this uh, Bravo line, the uh, the majority of the pay is going to come from uh, delivering down the far end with the food, uh, given that it's chuffy miles away. Yeah, ninety-six thousand. Uh, I'm not exactly overwhelmed there. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some road upgrade. I want uh, I want country roads, please. Yeah, we'll keep going then. These appear to be fences. They're not in fact roads. Ah, you're very observant. Uh, large country road is the ideal. Yeah, is it going to fit? It is. No, um, uh, no, it's not going to fit. Is it going to fit anywhere? No. Nope. Is it? Is it not going to? No, you're colliding with stuff. All this handmade goodness, I'm just going to have to bulldoze some of it and, and re-hand make it. In fact, is, is, is this possible anywhere? Uh, yeah, no, you're, you're stuck. Hey, we got a bit. All right, 61,000. Uh, yeah, we might as well. Because um, this is the... I, I was just thinking of doing this leg because it's the one they use most often. Uh, it's just a question of what I can actually squeak in here. There you go, that's better. Uh, that's only 80 kilometers now, but it's it's better than nothing. Uh, will you will you play? I'll play. Yeah, I don't want you to upgrade that bit that I was just that I already did. There you go. You can have that. And then this. Now watch him kick into high gear. Well, his engine tones increased a little. There we go. Yeah, I see. Up the tempo. Yeah, that's gonna make a that's gonna make a little bit of a difference. I don't want to go absolutely wild on this, though. I think there is more money to be made purely in uh, in setting up a few more lines or adding more trucks to these lines I've already got than there is in, uh, I think, add more trucks to the lines you've already got is probably a wise way to go there, my friend. Uh, yeah. No, no, I want to follow this chap down to the end. Actually, should we do some... Let's do a bit more ride on. Uh, just, just purely because... I mean, look at it. Look. The birds are singing. Uh, we're doing 80. We're no longer doing 80. We're now doing 40. Oh, now we we've got some uh, some some Japan modernising to do. We're, we've got to drag it kicking and screaming into the latter half of the 20th century, and then by episode three it will be the 21st century. Ah, well, that's uh, that's the way it goes. It's quite a long way. Do you, are you sure you want to ride on it the entire distance? No, I probably don't. To be honest, we could, we could just skip forward to there and find out what the goodness is. Why don't you talk a little about your aspirations for this series? Is that really what people turn up for? I don't know. Uh, I mean, certainly these days, our cup runneth over with highly skilled building folk. 
And uh, and I would never mark myself down as uh, as highly skilled building folk. I don't know, a coal mine was quite nice. Yeah, but but everything else you built in that series was yeah, it was all right. I mean, it wasn't wasn't great. Yeah, I also had a coal mine. I didn't make any money at all. You know what I'd like to do? What would you like to do? I'd like to build the coal mine again, but this time force it to make a profit. Yeah, good luck with that. Also, that was a peninsula map. We're never going back to a peninsula map. Because uh, the mod makers of the world hate it. Uh, because, obviously, you know, a map par excellence of that kind, uh, they're going to go out of their way to, uh, to cancel and update and break mods and so forth so you can't reload your save. That's not what happened last time. Oh, no, it isn't. My computer crashed and killed my save. Yeah, you lost your hard disk. Oh, I take it back, mod makers of the world. No, you're all splendid people, lovely, and uh, and I, I will I will buy you a cake at some point if we happen to be in the same place at the same time as a cake shop. Yeah, there you go. Because obviously, without you, then I'm uh, I'm limited to to whatever comes with the base game and uh, whatever fervent commentary I can then deliver alongside that. So this is a nice view. This is a very well built map. Too many trees, though. Too many trees. Uh, we're rocking a mighty 30 frames a second here. Uh, and that's fine. 30 frames a second. There's a bear. Yep. That's all right. He's minding... Oi, clear off. Um, that's all right. He, he, he tried to... He, he got the idea that we'd got uh, many savoury pastries in the back of the van and decided to have a go for it. Uh, for fortunately, that particular bear can't do 40 kilometres an hour. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty sure. I mean, what are we talking here? About, what, 25, 26 miles per hour? Yeah. We're really cooking. We really, 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 we are really cooking. The good news is, when I jump off the end of this, uh, which will hopefully be soon, but um, there's, there's more corners to go. Ah, okay. All right. Well, we're, we can settle for... No, I've decided that we're going to ride the entire distance, and I'm just going to keep you amused the entire way. Where I was going was, uh, by the time... Yes, we've uh, we've completed this route. I should have earned enough. I reckon I might have about a million in the bank, which will be good, uh, which will leave me the ability to do a little bit more expansion, which will also be good. There's a lot of good things waiting at the end of this journey, you know. Not least of all, we'll find out how much it pays. Now, carrying 14 of 16, I'm hoping somewhere in the in the 200 to 300 thousand range uh, for this delivery would be uh, would be spot on now we'd we'd have been there and we'd be halfway back by now if it weren't for the fact that this road was made out of uh, dirt uh, gravel uh, sand yeah all of that kind of business uh, if instead we'd uh, we'd built it out of you know tarmacadden then we'd uh, we'd be going places well hold on we're about to go places here's some tarmacadden now and yeah, we've dropped to 30 kilometers now. Oh, this is some kind of city controlled uh, kind of business going on here, isn't it? If you mean it's got a speed limit, yeah, yeah, it has. Okay, all right, it's all fine. No, it's okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. All right, let's hop off and have a look at the town that we're in. Uh, the AI has already started to make a name for itself. Uh, it's rather than building a building a bridge over this, it's decided to build a weir. I'll allow it, because uh, this river texture, it's just, it's a texture rather than, uh, rather than actual proper water. Uh, we are still 23, 24k in profit as we approach the truck stop. And uh, that notion of being 300 grand in profit, I think, was uh, nonsense. Yeah. Get out of the way. Right, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. I believe in me. Uh, where did I leave? Uh, there it is. Right. One times truck stop. And the value was 180. Okay, maybe a, maybe a little bit lower than I'd hoped. But it's not the end of the world. It may not be the end of the world, but it is the end of the episode. It's the dawn of a new era, friends. We're going to see what we can do on this map. Uh, and I've got a I've got a commuter idea vis-a-vis -vis trains that I want to explore. Uh, but in order to get to that point, I've got to make a bit more money. So I'm going to make a bit more money, and we'll uh, and we'll crack on. Uh, I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
Uh, if you manage to ride the entire of that truck trip, you're qualified. You're, you're going to get on fine with this series. Because uh, usually it's more buildy than it is looking at stuff. But we do a combination of, of building and looking at stuff while I say things with my face. And uh, if you if you get on with uh, with what I'm saying with my face, then you, you're 90% of the way there to enjoying whatever it is that I actually get up to. How you doing for... Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're doing, you're doing all right. Where's all my money going? You're spending it on stuff and things. Oh, yeah. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Transport fever, eh? Well, that'll never catch on. Um, well, tough, because it's it's going to get its chance to catch on a little bit. We're going to play it for ooh, a little while. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm aiming for 12 episodes of this, and, uh, and we'll see... We'll see how it percolates as a result of that. Uh, I do have a clear concept of what I want to do, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fill you in on it yet, just in case it, it evolves in a slightly different direction. Uh, what I don't want to do is just a standard uh, game mechanics turned on, make as much money as possible, that kind of thing. Uh, I want to try and build towards a spectacle of some kind, a spectacle uh, of some description, and uh, and that will that will be the aim. Uh, so, uh, so the emphasis is going to be on uh, give you a general sense of uh, of progress each episode, and uh, and then possibly build a little bit more that is just making extra money or or building out connections and that kind of thing. Then review at the start of the next one. A uh, bit of detailing probably along the way, uh, but it should be a, a rare old adventure, and we'll all have a merry time. You know, if if that isn't the case, then oh well, uh, easy come, easy go, I suppose. Hmm?